So I sent a letter to the other house leaders about Gala. I I've had a duty, I felt, to warn them of the danger, but I begged them not to reveal it to the public after all the negative press already. Hmm. Yes. That was wise. I haven't heard anything on the news, so I guess they kept the secret. Yeah, they did. Thank Frith. A good bunch, our house leaders. Speaking of house leaders, as if my life weren't already complicated enough, you remember how I said we were going to test every Tome Knight with mysterious origins against the company database just because of all the shenanigans? Hi. Hi, Queen Sable, Erin Ree. Sorry. Good afternoon. Uh, Hi. You guys are, how are you doing? Is it, you guys doing well? It's busy, that's for sure. Busy is an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I won't take up too much of your time. Uh, thanks for agreeing to meet with us today. We have something really important to discuss with the both of you. And to be honest, I'm not really sure how to begin. Of course. Is everything all right? How can we help? Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. Well... As much as it always is, yeah. anyway. Are you familiar with the company? I'm sure you've heard about them on the news, of course. Yes, um, I'm familiar with the company. I was a resident of their care not too long ago. Were you? You might have said. Okay, well, okay, I guess we haven't exactly been public about what we know about them, have we? <laughs> No, we really haven't, but I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. What's not widely known is that their medical research is not exactly above board. Since they were formed, they've been conducting bio-experiments with the goal of creating super-soldiers. Some of their experiments have been on Littromancers, often without their consent, but I get the feeling this is not news to you. No, no, it's not. I'm one of those experiments, actually. Well, we are. I have some files about it as well, and other things I reappropriated from them. I could share if it'll help take them down. Looks like we both have a bone to pick. We should work together. Take down their operation. Oh yeah, we've got a bone to pick, all right. Yeah, you could say something like that. Okay, but that's not what we wanted to talk to you about. <clears throat> uh, okay. At some point, they acquired some of my DNA. I don't know exactly how yet, but we know they did. It's a long, sordid story you probably don't want the details of, but... <clears throat> well, they've done some terrible things to Aaron and Galakrond and Sunny and Tempest... We're both created by them, I imagine, in a similar way. And they were created using my stolen DNA. But I figured out that I could use that DNA to track down their labs, or at least any place where they're using my code. Between that and some files that were reappropriated for me by Commander Stretch, I found the two of you. I knew... I mean, I didn't know who, but the files I took, all the files on the two of us I could get my hands on, I have. But the names were redacted. I... Okay. How would you like to proceed, Queen Sable? I had no idea, or I would have contacted you. Of course, I had no idea until this last tourney that Aiden was alive, either. I've been told she's dead for years. First of all, you should stop calling her Queen Sable. Yeah, probably. 
Wait. Are you two saying that Sable is my genetic parent and Miko's too? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're saying. <laughs> or with a 50% genetic match, at least according to these files, you could both be considered my sisters. Genetically, there's no difference. The only way to tell is time and biology. With the fact you were probably created using my DNA, mine and Aaron's, actually. And mine. I would think the former relationship would be more appropriate than the latter, but that would be up to the two of you to decide. Yeah. Really? I mean, at least in my case, the idea of having a mother and father figure is, well... <laughs> Amazing. I'd be honored to explore that possibility, if you'd allow me. Aiden, what do you think? This affects us both, after all. So Sable and Aaron are mom and dad now. <laughs> okay. I can, I can deal with this. There is an issue, though. Public image. Sable is a queen, Aaron a prince consort. We're Royal all Pain pretty. I call myself, but we're all pretty public figures, though. How would this affect our duties if we chose to pursue this? I'd be a bit more concerned about uh, uh, them than us, to be honest. We, or at least I, am new. I don't have much of a reputation, and hopefully, that means I could catch myself from any backlash quickly. Then again, I'm also new, so that might reflect on the ba uh, on the rest of you badly, because no one knows me or what I'm after. I'm less concerned about the politics of it all than you might think. The house leaders all know about the company already, so that's one thing. Aaron gives no filks about his reputation, and not a single one given. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is already. Um... Well, yeah, there's just no point worrying over much about it at this point. <laughs> Those who want to think poorly of me will continue to do so. Those who don't aren't about to start. I don't over know if this. it would have... Nah, not over this, no. Right. I, I don't know if it would affect your duties to pursue a familiar relationship, but I do know it might even help to legitimize your new house. Some people put a great deal of stock in royal blood, like it has something to do with anything. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> makes a big difference right as for us listen i don't care where you guys came from family is a choice i strongly believe that but if you'd like to consider yourselves our family we'd like you to we'd yeah. welcome you with open arms if we'd known you had existed we'd have come for you if we'd been given the chance we'd have taken care of you i didn't ever let you sit there I didn't ever let you say in the control if I'd known you were there. Not for one minute. I don't think I care much about the consequences either. I've respected you both greatly since I entered the little romantic world. I'd be honored to call the two of you my parents. Aiden, I think we can do this with little impact on our duties. Besides, it's a chance at more of a family. Personally, I think the risk is worth it. I think you're right. I think we can give things a chance. So, what would you have named me if you had rescued me or something? I've been kind of looking for a new name. Huh. That's a good question. How old are you? You're... 20... One? So, 2000, 2001. Okay, so... That was the year either that Avalon Burning's demo came out or the year I was in that car accident. You know, the one that caused whiplash so I was off work for months? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were pretty dirt freaking poor back then. That was before we got those horrible taxi jobs even. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, see, well, we did have that... that thought that you might be pregnant that one time and we did come up with a few options mm -hmm. right uh as i recall we thought alexandria was a good option that way right. basically the girl could call her with anything she wanted sandy zandra alex alec you know 
right? Um, and, uh, well, I just met T Thorne Coyle at the time, and I, oh, had right, a, we discussed a that as a name. And I discussed the idea of Thorne as a name, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then there was Mary because it was in the spring, right? Right, Mary begot, we were thinking, yeah, right, and then Senna. There was Senna. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Senna, huh? Yeah. I Senna. I kind of like Senna. You look like a Senna. I have to try it out. Maybe it'll even stick. What do you think, Miko? I like it. It suits you. Seems like a new beginning. I like it. New beginning seems exactly what we need right now. Hopefully this works out. Family, we've never had it. I think this will be good, though. Yeah, it really will be. I hope, I hope so. I won't let you down. This, that would be amazing. You guys should come visit at the Warren for a while. Get to know your siblings. Yeah, you really should. There's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. A few. A few. I'll plan on it. As soon as we get a chance. Maybe the uh, holidays? That'd be great. Sounds good. I guess we should talk about war strategies, too. You're supporting Corruptora, right? Yes. Yes, we are. Good. They need the support. Maybe I'll do yeah. a quick visit before November. Check on the portals and whatnot. I, I was hoping they'd be done in time, but it doesn't look like they will be. That'd be go great. Their guard weapons and stuff like that if we go by that time. I was captain of their guard for a year. Yeah, that's right, too. You can check and make sure that's all in order. Yeah. Maybe we can plan for that soon. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll make arrangements with Tara then. See you both soon, I hope? Right. Of course. Talk to you soon, Mom. Dad. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Hopefully on good terms. I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it's going to be great. Thanks. Right. Thanks, guys. That's, that's awesome. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pleased. <laughs> okay. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Bye. 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 <sighs> Two of my children grew up as lab experiments, Velma. Two children and my sibling. I I just <sighs> sounds, sounds like they know it wasn't your fault though. Wasn't it? I mean, I feel I should have known after all the shit the company has done. I should have checked. Fable. I can hardly wrap my head around all of this. And you're in it. Do you really think you can be expected to think of everything? I have to. I have to, or I have to know who can, or people suffer and die. Have you been able to start building a relationship with them? Yeah, um, Aiden, Senna, and I were already friends, and Miko's been reaching out. They're lovely people. They're brave and loving and creative and strong. I'm so proud of them. I mean, the Kitty General and the Candle of Hope are my daughters. What mother could be more proud? I just wish I'd had something to do with that, is all. You said yourself that you can't take back the past, but you have time now. But I can take back the past, Velma. At least until November, I can. The power is literally at my fingertips. And it's so tempting. I think about it all the time. But at what cost? What cost? <laughs>